in all estimations of probability, we are not alone in the galaxy, let alone the blooming universe. Astronomers have already found over 4,000 confirmed exoplanets out there, but officially, we have not heard a peep from our intergalactic neighbours. But is it not a matter of time, and what would happen if that silence was broken? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, and today I'm asking what if aliens made contact? What if indeed? Before we get into this video, let me know if you think that aliens have actually already made contact. Do you believe in alien stories like Area 51 and Roswell? Apparently John Lennon saw an alien once, but he was you know, pretty high, a lot, so maybe that explains that. Also, while you're down there leaving me a comment, why don't you like this video and share it with a friend. Stick around to the end, cause I'm gonna be replying to some comments. What if aliens made contact? Well, why haven't they already? Where is everybody? Now this builds the basis of the Fermi paradox. To summarise, the paradox basically says that the universe is, so far as we know, 14 billion years old. A lot of time for societies to get cooking, so where they all at? One answer is that we are alone, totally and utterly alone in the observable universe, which contains approximately 30 billion planets at best estimates. Another answer is that there is life out there, but it has not reached a point of intelligence beyond its own planet. It hasn't been able to send a signal for us to hear. Of course, there's a further offshoot that says that signals have been sent out, but they're too far away for us to have picked up on them. Other theories say that actually, we're living in somewhat of an intergalactic zoo, where aliens are watching us, but we don't realise it. And a similar theory suggests that aliens know of our existence, but are ghosting us because they think that we simply aren't ready to deal with knowing about their existence, or they've seen the wars that we wage on each other, and they just think we are way too much aggro to engage with, and honestly, I wouldn't blame them. But okay, say the great silence is broken one day, we receive that message we've all been waiting for. How we hear it totally depends on how we would react. We cannot imagine how another civilization might choose to communicate beyond imagining what we are already capable of. Another intelligent life may not use radio signals, written text, verbalizations. It could be delivered in a series of light flashes or something else we just can't get our heads around. What I'm getting at here is how definitive the message is and how many people actually hear it. Would NASA or another space agency pick up on it first, or would the message be plain for all to see? If the message was subtle, I imagine governments and space organisations would want to keep it quiet for fear of the societal repercussions. But is that even ethical? As citizens of planet Earth, would we have a right to know if we were being addressed? If the first contact happened in an obvious way, so Social media would go wild with speculation, as would all media outlets, which could actually put us in dangerous fake news territory. There is a genuine concern amongst astronomers of today and space buffs of the moment. If aliens made contact, what news source could be trusted to share it? It certainly would sell a lot of newspaper space and ad space, so could we trust journalists to avoid sensationalising reporting it just for the sake of a few sales? If inflammatory articles about the nature of the message were published, it could spread mass panic and distrust which actually could be really harmful. So perhaps you would understand the world's leading government's motives if they did decide to keep it under wraps, especially if there was a decoding period and we weren't entirely sure what was being said. So if we did receive contact, would we respond? And who should be the ones to do it? In 2015, SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, released a statement saying, we feel the decision whether or not to transmit a message must be based on a worldwide consensus and not a decision based on the wishes of a few individuals with access to powerful communications equipment. Now, the statement was signed by 28 leading scientists and astronomers, including Elon Musk. Despite the statement and the far reaching consensus that this goes beyond a few individuals, I imagine governments would try to take charge. How would NASA respond to being dictated to? We don't have a whole load of space law and place right now, aside from the Outer Space Treaty, which claim the exploration and use of outer space shall be carried out for the benefit of and in interests of all countries, and shall be in the province of all mankind. It was signed by Russia, the United States and the UK. On receiving a message, worldwide leaders would need to agree to act in sync and support one another to this sentiment. If not, it could destabilise the already pretty volatile state of worldwide peace. 
There isn't one spokesman for the earth, right? On an entirely different note, I really wonder how organized religion would respond to an absolute confirmation of life on another planet. Would it not shake up teachings in various religious texts that seem to suggest that we are the only ones alive out there? How would religious believers respond to such a blow to their core beliefs? Ultimately, contact from aliens would be major. Like, major, major. Major beyond anything you could ever dream of. Definitive knowledge that we aren't alone could have a big impact on how we live our lives. How exactly it might affect people psychologically is impossible to predict because we truly don't know how we would feel about it until it is an absolute reality. And what if the message was bad? What if the message said that they were coming for us? Would human society collapse under the strain of anticipation? Meanwhile, all the animals on earth are just chilling in their non-existentialism. Jealous. Both Elon Musk and Stephen Hawking have warned that we may not like what we hear should we receive contact from another alien civilization. And that's a very possible issue. But then it may also be extremely helpful and positive for mankind. If aliens had found a way to contact us, it would likely mean that they are at a state of technological advancement and perhaps we could learn from them. If they actually traveled to Earth to bring us a message themselves, unless they've been hiding amongst Saturn's moons or in the eye of Jupiter, like the Daily Express and the Sun would have us believe, it would also likely mean that they figured out how to travel faster than the speed of light, which, hello, that's a game changer. If we took first contact as an invitation to strike up a working relationship, perhaps we could learn from one another. I don't for a second imagine that aliens would be anything like us humans, but what if they knew how to mine resources better than us, or if they'd found better minerals or cures to various ailments? Two minds are better than one in almost every situation. The only thing is though, us earthlings have a tendency to want to be better than the other, which actually is always a thorn in the side of productivity. Would we screw it up? <sighs> Likely. Returning to SETI for a few final musings, earlier this year, the UK arm of the organization actually published a consensus to gauge how we as members of the general public would react. Here are a few of the questions they asked. One, some people think that we should send messages into space even if we don't receive a message first, what's your opinion? Two, if we receive a message, do you think that we should reply and make contact or not, and if so, why? Three, what would you consider a credible source? Now these are all pretty key key questions when we think about the title of this video and they may be helpful in determining how exactly we would react. And human reaction to a message is actually almost as crucial as the message itself. So I want to throw this open out to you guys. How do you think that people would react to an alien message? Would we even be able to decode it? Do you think that humans would be suspicious of extraterrestrials? Do you think it would be a good idea to respond or a bad idea? Should we actually perpetuate the great silence? Could we be inviting in our destroyers if we respond? Or could we unlock the secrets to the universe? This is pretty heavy stuff. Also don't forget to let me know if you think that aliens have already made contact. I'm absolutely fascinated to read your comments in the comment section. Speaking of, before I go and wrap up this video, I'm going to reply to some comments from my recent video, What If The Sky Was Blue? Work Hard Game Harder said, I'm glad the sky is blue. Blue is my favorite color. Well, that's lucky then. Maybe it's your favorite color because it's the color of the sky though. Maybe there's some like psychological connotations that you love the outdoors. Stephen Matthews said, blue is so great, I'm making a poem. Blue, blue, I love blue, the sky is blue, 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 water is blue, I like blue, blue, blue. That was blue beautiful. I'm not sure if that worked. Good, but anyway, get the ladder Pulitzer. TNR Gaming also wrote a little poem which Great guys, I can absolutely get on board with this trend. They wrote, actually, kind of an aggressive poem. Would we call it a hate poem? You decide. Sunsets are red, Earth and Mars skies are blue. You didn't smash the like button and now a failed rocket is coming to hit you. Not my words, but I can't say I didn't warn you. Better click that thumbs up button, just in case. You know? Thank you guys for watching this video. I do love me some thinking. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate. I'll catch you soon. But until then, please do stay curious. Stay alert and never ever stop questioning.